Hi, welcome to the Bates Central Kitchen. Come on in. The Bates Central Kitchen services the 106 sites of Granite School District and its contract uh, schools. With a population of over 80,000, we serve about 162,000 meals a day to our students and this is the building which everything flows through. So I want to welcome you and hope you enjoy your tour. We had the opportunity to build this new facility about five years ago. The facility was built with two main emphasis, food safety and physical safety for our employees. The building operates with about 125 employees operating in two shifts. We start about nine o'clock the night before service and go through about three o'clock the day of service. So come on back and let's take a look at our operation. We start with a special diet kitchen. Special diets, we operate about 600 special diets each day for students that have special medical needs or religious preferences. So we do support the schools in a diverse array of uh, special needs. The Central Kitchen was designed with five main areas of concentration. We have the hot food production, we have the bakery, then we have a controlled temperature uh, cold room, we have the warehouse operation, and the transportation area. Each one of these areas was designed with food safety and physical safety in mind. So as we walk the kitchen, keep in mind to be safe and let's take a look. Here's the hot food production. These three kettles are each 220 gallons. Imagine them filled with fresh macaroni and cheese. The product comes in from above in our batch bucket. It's then agitated and mixed as it is cooked and then it pumps from down below where we pump it into bags to be sent directly out into the schools for that day's service. The entire kitchen is designed with food and physical safety in mind. This unit monitors time and temperature throughout the production process. This is, this is our temperature controlled production area. Don your long sleeves, come on in. In this area we produce all of our fresh salads and our fresh sandwiches, do all of our deli meat and any dressings. So in this area we produce 1,500 salads every day and 1,500 fresh sandwiches. That way our students have a wide variety out in the schools. Our 23 trucks travel 19 routes every day, traveling over 700 miles a day to bring our students fresh fruits and vegetables with their meal. Lunches are brought out that day, and then breakfast for tomorrow are brought out in the afternoon. Our warehouse is designed with efficiency in mind. It's all equipped with pushback racking, so that as one pallet is empty, the next pallet comes forward. Throughout the warehouse, it is addressed so that when the products come in, they can be stored, their location is recorded, and then when it's time to bring them down to the picking lane, the warehouseman goes to the product that is the oldest, brings it down to the picking lane, and that way we have the efficiency of first in, first out, without actually having to touch the product multiple times. We're in inventory control right now. This area of the warehouse controls all of the products coming in and going out. So when the products are received, they're checked into inventory. Then when the schools requisition the items, they're loaded onto carts and taken on out to the schools. The bakery provides a wide variety of fresh yeast products for our menu. Imagine having a nice yeast roll with your spaghetti or a breadstick with your lasagna. It really adds to the student's experience.
Hi, my name is Jeff Grattan. I work for Sodexo, and I work with the Granite School District here in Utah. Um, one of my primary functions is to help rent menus, to help teach the ladies out in the schools how to produce the food consistently. In our elementary program, we offer a service called the Clubhouse format, which is where we have multitudes of choices, up to five choices a day for each student to have. There's a sandwich, there's a salad, there's a hot entree every day, and the kids get to pick and choose what they want. Um, the line flow goes very, very quick, and the kids genuinely have a great time with their lunch. In our junior high program, we use Did You Know Cafe, which is a mix of our crossroads and our clubhouse, where there's build to order items, there's creation items, and there's some staple items like we use in our elementary school. So it's a nice transition from elementary to high school. In our crossroads section of schools, we have multitudes of formats. We have deli, we have fast takes, we have grill, we have salsa bars, where we create the food specifically for the kids, the way they like it. We've taken that to a whole nother level with our street eats format that we use, where we're actually cooking the food live directly in front of the students. And when we change from serving our food in buffet style, like we do in Crossroads, to serving it in build to order, made to order, cooked in front of them, it just blows the doors off of what their expectations are and our food counts go through the roof. We almost run out of our food every day. We're consistently upping our numbers and the demand is just amazing. In Utah, one of the things that I, I work with is um, child education, nutrition education, and pro start. And I do a lot of lectures and seminars to the junior high kids specifically about healthy eating, about eating fruits and vegetables, about not eating a bunch of sugar. I talk to them about our pro stop program and I talk to them about how to become a culinarian and what it means to me to be a chef and how I grew up and where my connection to food and family and friends and my career all meet in the same spot. And I feel like every now and again I touch a handful of kids in a positive way and it really means a lot. And I see those kids years later in our culinary pro start program, which I help. And it's an, it's an amazing loop of education, showing them what's available, and then meeting them five years later as now future culinary students. It's great. In our elementary school program, we've actually hired a, a coach slash trainer, and she visits all of the fourth grade classes throughout the district. She teaches the kids about sugar, about what, how much sugar is in each food item, shows them comparisons of how much sugar is in a can of soda, teaches them about how they can help their bodies by moving and being physically fit, as well as drinking a lot more fluids that are not soda and sugar rich. Hartsty, um, registered dietitian with the Granite School District and a food service coordinator for the Bates Central Kitchen. I also manage the Fresh Fruit and Vegetable Program, which is a program that offers kids fr uh, fresh fruit and vegetable twice a week. Um, that helps them to experience um, new produce and introduce them to new and healthy options that they um, can try new fruits and vegetables that they've never tried before. Um, and have a more healthy and wholesome um, environment at school. We've been doing the dinner program here at the Granite School District for a little over a year and it has been very successful for students that stay later in the school so they can go home with a full tummy and, and uh, not have to worry about something to eat later on in the evening. Our BIC program serves over 22,000 students every day. We package many of the products here at the Central Kitchen to assure that the quality is the finest and the sugar content is the lowest that we can provide. It has had a dramatic impact on our school in terms of attendance. Uh, we were struggling and uh, 
This, this last month we were the number one school in the district and the month before we were number six in attendance in the district. So we're very pleased about that. The other thing that we're noticing is that the kids uh, aren't asking when they get to school, what are we having for lunch today? Obvious an indication that they're hungry. We found that about 50% of our kids came to school without breakfast or, or, or not what we would consider a healthy, nutritious breakfast. And this has just made such a big difference in the kids' attention and participation in the, that critical morning learning block. Behavior has decreased. We're not seeing as cranky of kids the first recess. They're going out, they're burning their energy and coming back in ready to learn. And behavior is, is sometimes non-existent throughout the day, which has been helpful. Teachers have commented that their students are paying attention. They're present, they're ready, they're focused, and they're able to learn. Um, and basically it's because our students are not hungry. I would encourage anybody to look at that as an effective intervention not only for student learning but on a more compassionate level. We literally had a lot of our kids that were coming to school hungry and this is making a difference uh, in a, on a tremendous level for that group of kids. In Granite School District we started the SEMA Summer Program about five years ago and in that program, we benefit our community by serving kids 18 years or younger a meal during the summertime when school is out. We have affected about 100,000 kids during that five year period, serving about 200,000 kids per year. We also benefit adults in that particular day. They want to eat with their kids. Those meals cost about $3.50. So it's an outstanding program for our community and it helps our kids when school is out. We have another program called the Fine Dining Program, and we started that program about nine years ago. In that program, we actually get to go into the classrooms and teach our students proper etiquette. We do about five fine dinings a year, so we implement five elementaries a year. And during that etiquette class, we actually go in and teach them proper manners and proper etiquette to actually eat at a fine dining restaurant. Not only do they get to learn those, but they get to use those not only in the cafeteria, but also at their home dining room. The next part of that is when we go to actually take them to a fine dining experience where we set up a room that looks just like a fine dining restaurant, and they get to eat a four course meal during that. Most of the kids really love that. They get to sit down not only with their teachers and their uh, principals, but also administrators that come from the district to sit down with them. In that fine dining experience, we also put in junior high and high school because we have a Pro Star program, and the Pro Star kids, along with Chef Jeff, actually prepare those four four course meals. I'm Kathy Horton, and I'm a food service coordinator here at Granite School District Food Services. We every year we have ten schools that we go out, and we have an A to Z event that we have at their school. It's a giant A to Z event that we do. One for every letter of the alphabet we do a fruit or a vegetable. It's a fun innovative way for students to be able to come and touch and smell fruits and vegetables that they're not really familiar with. Every time we go to the schools we often hear students say, are you coming back tomorrow? Are you going to be here every day? So it's a fun event for each one of the students there at the school when we go and host one of these events there. Hi, my name is Terry Oliver. I work for the Grand School District. I'm food service coordinator. Um, every year I'm over a program called Future Chefs where we invite fourth grade students from around the district to submit a recipe. There's a category every year. And uh, then we have a big cook-off. And um, this year it's a healthy comfort food recipe and we'll be having a cook-off for those students to participate in that. Last year we actually had the national winner um, in the Granite School District and that was just a really exciting, exciting time for her and for us. My name is Robert Nelson. I have worked for Sodexo for 33 years, 24 in corporate services. I have been a food service manager here at Granite School District since 2009. 
I am also the district safety coordinator for the Granite School District and oversee the training and HACCP program for over 100 schools. Um, as part of this, we implemented a new Safety Hero program a year and a half ago, which was primarily based on behavior and we wanted to at recognize outstanding employees with the behavior that they did out at the schools. And as part of this, we have implemented a new, we're trying to implement and improve the daily culture that we have out at our schools so that safety becomes the primary focus of our employees when they're working. Uh, we want employees to think about safety every time when they start their shift and every time they start a new task have how can I do this safely be the primary focus that they have so that it becomes embedded in the culture of our employees here at Grand School District. Well thanks for visiting the Bates Central Kitchen. We hope today's tour has been not only informative but you can see what a good time we have helping the students of Granite School District learn and be ready to learn. Nutrition is an important part of the academic day and we're proud to be a part of it. Have a good day and come back anytime. <laughs>